Hey everybody, welcome back. We have another project here on the channel. So do me a favor. If you like these videos, hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Leave your comment down below. Let's jump into this one. Now this is from Unlock Composites. I went ahead, I saw their beautiful scales online, came recommended from a subscriber, and so I had to purchase a set. Now these are the bias pattern, B-I-A-S pattern. And you can see the milling that's done on these. Lots of cross sections. So they have some decent grip to them. I like that. They have the jimping built in as well. The inside of the scale has the milled out area for the liners. Nice and smooth on the inside. And of course, shout out to the lanyard fans. They've included you guys. That's really cool. Here's the right side scale. Just gorgeous. So we're going to go ahead... As you can see, they did um, milled out pocket clips for both right and left-handed. So we're gonna give that one a little test run and see how it fits. Now, today, a couple things are important. Safety is number one priority. Also, this model is the CF Elite Bug Out, full size. It's the 535 BK-2. So we're gonna use this one. We're gonna take this one apart today. However, as you know, we need the right tools. So we went ahead, we got our journey tool company case out. We got our tourist driver out. You can see journey tool company there. This spins, it swivels so nicely. It's an aluminum coated with the black coating. I love it. Now the Weehaw bits, they come in super handy. Nice little tray. If you haven't seen it, check out journey tool co cause this all comes within the kit. I purchased it this way. It all fits nicely inside. You throw it in your bag, you're good to go. And if you like these awesome tools, you'll find links down below to these different companies. And so get signed up. They do different drops. Now this is a pivot alignment tool. It's from Rust Bucket Goods on Etsy. Has a flat spot right here for your pivot on these bench maids, larger size, smaller size. So we're going to use that today. This is the knurled aluminum. That one will run you about $20 or so on there. We've got our bits. And of course, when we're putting it back together, we're going to use the Loctite blue thread locker. This one's a stick. So it's kind of like the glue, the little glue that you used to eat when you're in elementary school. Easy. Pushes out. You can eat it right away. Don't recommend eating the Loctite though. Now, blue lube, bench made, of course. We're putting a bench made back together, so why not use some blue lube on it? So we'll put that off to the side for right now. We're not gonna need it, but let's go ahead and get our bit out. So all of the bits on the side are going to be T6, and our pivot is going to be a T10. So we'll get those out of the sleeve there. As you can see, these are the Weeha bits. They're marked on their T10. And we'll get the T6 out next. This one's marked as well. So anyways, really cool products, really good quality stuff. You guys probably already have these, but anyways, we've got really light magnet inside of here. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take off the pocket clip. That's what I like about this driver. So it's a, it's a magnet, but it's not super heavy crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to do this somewhat reasonably. Now, when you first take your bench maids apart or any knives, the Loctite might be very sticky. So getting these out, you wanna put a little pressure on them, but you don't wanna to over torque it. You don't wanna strip out the, you know, the screw head or anything like that. Normally these will stay in the pocket clip here. This is the mini deep carry pocket clip. But I wanna show you the thread locker that's already on there from factory. So that stuff comes on there. She's so got to make sure you know that's on there. Now you have the flat side of the pivot, which is obviously something we need to be aware of. And then you have the male, the, uh, or I'm sorry, the, uh, torque side. So you can take it off. That's the T10 there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get rid of this part of the scale right now. So we're going to try to do this in two sections. We're going to use our pivot alignment tool to help us out as well. So hopefully it's just a quick, easy tear down. But of course, as you know, the best plans sometimes don't always work out. And what I've seen on these bug outs, 
is this screw right here always gives me the most grief because I think they put the most thread locker on that one. So anyways, just take your time with it, get familiar with it. But if you haven't taken apart an access lock knife from Benchmade, this uh, pivot alignment tool is gonna be your best friend. It's gonna help keep things organized. There we go. Got it to break, it took a little bit of tension, a little extra torquing on it. But just do it nice and slow, nice and smooth. You'll be good to go. We're gonna put these up here. Now, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to our T10 bit. And we're gonna put it in there. This one will come out pretty easy. It doesn't look like there was much Loctite on the pivot, so I think I broke it free though. No, there's no Loctite on it, so. That's a good thing we're taking it apart anyways then. Now, a couple things you can do to keep these things all together is you have your barrel spacers to be aware of as well. Right now they're screwed into the other scale, so it's easy to kind of pop this scale off. And since those are already on there, let's go ahead and just take this scale and we'll drop it right on. Now to me, doing this is gonna make the most sense just for the fact that you can, doing it behind the camera here, you can kind of keep things together. You can keep the liners lined up. You can see how it all snaps together now. And we'll just go ahead and reinstall some of these um, without torquing them down heavy and without putting any uh, Loctite on there right now. Just because I want to kind of just hold it together, put the other scale on, show you how the pivot alignment tool works. And we'll kind of go from there. So I just use this without the Torx, uh, well, without the Torx driver, just for the fact that you can easily do this. And I will say that so far so good. We're, we're doing good here. And I'll go afterwards and I'll tear this one down. I don't need to show you how to put Loctite on. I'll do one of the one of the screws at the end with Loctite, just so you can see kind of how I put it together. Now this one's going in a little bit different. So we're gonna need to look at that one because the scale comes in a little bit there. So I wanna make sure I get that lined up and don't strip it out. So I usually go backwards and kind of hear it click into the threads. And it looks like maybe with the scale, that one's gonna stick up a little bit. Sorry about that. As you can see, these are sticking up a little bit on there. So that might be the design with these scales being so slim. Because you can see the size difference already right now. So that's something to take note of because these are in pretty much all the way. They're not gonna be tightened too much more and you can see kind of how they stick out already. So yeah, that's one thing to note. So let's give the other side a try and make sure that we're not uh, missing something there. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take our pivot alignment tool. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna push this in. You'll see it pop up just a little bit over here. You may have to pull back on the access bar a little just to kind of break the tension and you can see it kind of pop the pivot out a little bit. And the flat spot on these faces the spine of the knife, that direction. So you'll line that flat spot up right there. Oops, it's off camera. So it's facing up the flat side and then it's just gonna push through. In a perfect world, right? Come on now, see, that's what I'm saying. The best laid plans, no, there you go. I had to pull, pull a little more tension back on those springs for the access bar. Now we can go ahead and safely take off this side of the scale. So we'll go ahead and put our T6 back together on our driver. And we'll take this one off. This one's got a lot of tension on it. There we go. A lot of Loctite, so that's good, that's good. It's holding it together. But for me, I wanna see how those scales do with the screws. Cause I like this, I like the screws being flush, but if they're not gonna be flush, then yeah, I don't know. I'll have to get used to that. It makes it for a different feel for sure. It does have, it does show that the scales are thinner on these carbon fiber ones from Alliance, or I'm sorry, from uh, Unlock Composites. 
but it's kind of cool. They give you the little cutout that they did for your scales, you know, when they did the milling. So you can kind of see that it's all carbon fiber. So, you know, if you want to mess around with that, you can. But they have some really cool stuff. Uh, they do scales for like the CVV Elementum, Kaiser Sheepdog, the full size and the mini. Um, they do keychains, bottle openers, carabiner, and they also do custom work. So definitely check them out. I'll put a link down below. So I gave this one just a little bit of a push with my thumb. That scale came off now. You don't have to mess with the access lock, the springs, getting that lined up, nothing. It's all right there. So pretty cool. We can just drop this scale on now. Make sure these all line up as they did. That all went together there, there, and the liners are set. And now we'll just kind of reconstruct it. And we'll put our pivot back in, our pocket clip back on. And getting those liner screws back in is, is one of the most important things. So I want to see how this corner one does and see if it sticks out like the other one. There we go. Seat it in there a little bit. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be the design. So you can see how those screws stick out a little bit compared to a regular bug out. I do have another bug out right here. So you can see how the scales are a little thicker. So they kind of seed in there. You're not going to see them. So that's probably the design on these since they're cut a lot closer. I like the scales though. They look pretty sweet. It's going to look awesome when we open it up here in a minute. But yeah, let me know what you think of these. You know, I've got some other ones. Uh, I was mentioning earlier, you know, I've done lots of different scales for bug outs. I have a lot of them. Um, I'll be doing a video comparing them all here coming up. So definitely look forward to that. So make sure you're subscribed. And if you have any that you want to see that you haven't seen on the channel, then shoot me a message. Let me know. So I'm just going to go ahead and tighten all these up now since they're all lined up. We'll hit the other side and then we'll get our pivot back on. I guess we could do our pocket clip too at the same time. Might as well, right? Might as well. Um, let's see, it's up here. So they do drill it for the three hole pattern, which is nice. So we'll see how that works. But that way you can put any of the Benchmade pocket clips on there. Any of the aftermarket ones that you, you know, that you like. There's so many awesome ones from like Lynch and MXG and so many different aftermarket ones that people can pretty much have their own preference and have fun with it, you know? And if you've seen, the really cool part is that uh, pivot alignment tool just stays right there. Keeps everything dialed in, keeps it aligned. Pretty much good to go. So I like that. Okay, so we got our pocket clip nice and tight on there. You see how that one's setting on. It's got a little bit of a pad, a flat pad built for those pocket clips. So that way it's not uneven because these are milled out pretty good. So I like that they did that. Now we'll go ahead and reinsert our pivot right here. And we're gonna line up, as you can see that flat part of the pivot, we're gonna line up with the flat part on there. And the goal is to pull this back, gently push this through, and it all just stays aligned is the goal. So that's the ultimate goal. We'll keep it aligned. And of course, <laughs> on camera, it's a little shy. So let's try this one more time. And I might have that, there we go. Let me see here. Let's get that still aligned. We're gonna do it one more time though, because we lost our fitting on that. And I think honestly, let me try this other one. I think we might be having an issue with that aluminum hanging up. Let me try this steel one. So there's a steel one, same one you can get from Rust Bucket Goods. I've had better luck with the steel one. So I think the aluminum catches on those liners and it makes, it makes everybody look bad. I'm just kidding. So anyways, so we got that one in there, of course. Come on, camera. We were doing so good. I know there's one way to fix this. I was trying not to do it that way, but you can go ahead and loosen your liner screws. 
just to get that final pivot alignment. So I think I'm gonna have to do that. So let's go ahead, let's put this back through. So at least we're all working through this together. You know what I mean? But we will loosen these up just a little bit, the corner one and this one right here on both sides. And that's just gonna give it a little flexibility. The carbon fiber is way too taut. The tension's on there, so that's why it's not working. This one came out, so we'll put it in just with like one little thread, just to hold it in position. Now we should just have straight success with this. So let's give it a whirl. There we go. So that's a, that's a pro tip right there. Pro tip, you're welcome. But yeah, if you have a little trouble with that, just go ahead and loosen these screws for the liners, the corner one and the one here in the middle. That's what holds your liners together. And then you can just tighten it back up real quick. So that's why I always wait to do the, the Loctite till the end, till I get everything put back together. And then I'm like, okay, let's, let's do it now officially. We'll just back each little screw out and put some little Loctite on it. But we didn't need to use any blue lube. So that's good. We didn't have to take it apart and clean anything. We could have, but this one's new out of the box. So I didn't want to get too aggressive on this build since it'll be a little bit of a longer video. But look at that. What do you guys think of that? Carbon fiber, it's the bias pattern. They have, I think like five or six different patterns. You can get that flat carbon fiber look on them. You can get so many different patterns. Um, definitely go check them out. Looks like the, there we go. We got it dialed in pretty good. I'm digging the look of that. So just so you know, so you can see what it looks like, Loctite wise, we'll take this little corner screw out right here from the liner. I just put a little dab of that on there. You can use the liquid version as well. But as you can see, I just put a little dab on it. Not dab in that fashion, but dab of Loctite. And then we'll just screw it down there. If you have anything that comes over the top, so sometimes you get a little bit of Loctite like right there, you can just go grab your towel, wipe it off, it comes right off, you're set. So anyways, there's the build on the Unlock Composites, Benchmade Bug Out Scales and the Bias Pattern. These run about $60 for the Bias Pattern. The other ones are a little cheaper. And like I said, they have several other knives that they're working on that you can pick up scales for. You guys are awesome. Thanks for joining me on this build. Thanks to all the awesome tool companies that are out there just making our lives easier. As you could tell, um, if I wasn't rambling and talking about this, it probably won't, only would have taken me five, 10 minutes tops. But check out the links below. Make sure you're subscribed. Let me know what you think about this one. If you like any other ones that I don't have, and if you're interested in seeing that comparison video on aftermarket scales for the bug outs, you guys do me a huge, huge favor. Make sure do something kind for someone always, always makes a difference. Most importantly, have a great rest of your day. Talk to you later.